Alrighty, I think we are live in two places. We are live on Facebook, and today is the uh, 14th of January, and this is the Center for Divine Awakening, our weekly inspirational insight and community conversation and discussion. Um, Steve, could you, do you know how to copy the link to the Zoom? At, like down at the bottom, can you go, can you see invite participants? For, can you, can you figure out how to copy that link and put it on the Facebook live that I'm doing right now? Thank you very much, because I can't figure out how to do that right now. <laughs> yes, Becky? It's on, it's on my personal page. Okay, let's see if we can do this. I have to come up more like that. More like that. Can you hear me better? Yeah. So that's not, it's not perfect, but it'll work for today. Right? All right, and what about Debbie? Was she not coming? Um, no. Um, she had to cancel her internet. And I'm going to get it back up. Okay. All righty. So we are live and we have our, our, our group here on uh, Zoom. I'm going to see if I can do that without shaking the Zoom camera too much and also be um, on the Facebook page, both end. Okay. So today is, thank you, Steve. I just saw that pop up. That's awesome. All right. And uh yeah, we've got a couple people watching uh, live on Facebook, and we were just getting started. I am Eliza Bloom Robinson, founder of the Center for Divine Awakening, and this is our weekly inspirational insight and community conversation. If you want to join the community conversation, just click on that Zoom link and come on over. We'll be live on Facebook for about 15 minutes or so, and then we'll continue our conversation over on the Zoom channel. So we'd love to have you join us over there. So tonight is, uh, uh, just letting you know, I'm in the Denver International Airport, and it's really loud. So I apologize for the background noise, and uh, we're going to do what we can do. So uh, tonight we're talking about implementing intentions. So last week, I have to do it. Last week we did our burning bowl and our white stone ceremony, and we received our intention for the week, or for the year, for 2018. Now today I was at uh, Unity of Denver, and I did a, a talk, and I did a workshop this afternoon, and the key, the bottom line, the subtitle for the workshop was three keys to integrating and aligning with your intention to kickstart your year with ease. So I thought I would just sort of um, introduce the ideas here, and then in our conversation we can go deeper into them, or if you want more information about that, you can always um, just message me. One of the things I said to the Unity of Denver group, too, is I opened my calendar this week, for some complimentary calls if you want to do some additional uh, deep dive work with me, if you want to really get serious about the transformation work, because it's time. It's time for the world to awaken. It's time to get serious about our intentions. It's time to get very crystal clear and conscious about all that we do, about what we think, about what we talk about, what we say and even especially in our actions and the best way to do that is to get really aligned and integrated with your intention for the year and so the best way or one way let me just say it that way one way to really implement your intention is to come into vibrational alignment with it what I mean by that is, let me give you a story. So if we have a, I'm trying to hold my iPad, I'm trying to trouble here. Um, if we have an intention of, let's say, let's do something easy, like let's have an intention to be more prosperous this year. So if we have an intention to be more prosperous this year, 
and we don't do anything in our consciousness to align with that intention, then we have first force, I am prosperous, and then everything in our subconscious, everything unlike prosperous shows up in our consciousness. So it is not all that uncommon to say I am prosperous and then come all the way into lack, like big bills show up or things don't work or things start to go a little wonky. Let me tell you first, there's nothing wrong. There's nothing wrong. You're not broken. You didn't do it wrong. What we didn't do, we just missed a step. And that step is aligning, bringing ourselves into vibrational alignment with our intention, which is what we're going to do tonight. Bringing our vibration into alignment with our intention means we become that intention already now, even before it's manifest. So feel this. Oh, yeah, I'm going to have an intention. I'm healthy. Oh, man, I feel so sick. Oh, I think I'll go get another burger. And I think I'll get ice cream and fries to go with that. I wonder why I don't feel good. I just don't feel good. Ah. Feel how that is a downward slide by setting the intention, I'm being healthy. Does it work? If you go, I am healthy, and you bring your body, mind, spirit into alignment, you actually raise your vibration to meet the intention, then you can hold it in a different place. In fact, if you need help with health, call Steve. He's got a great program. I need to call you, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> for help with my health. I've been traveling for a week. I didn't do that bad, but I didn't do great. Anyway, so when we come into, it's more than our mental mind. You see what we're doing is we're bypassing our mental realm and we're aligning in our vibrational realm. So implementing our intentions is drawing our consciousness our awareness into alignment with that which we desire. It's our desire, and if we received it like we did in the in the intent in the white stone ceremony, it's coming from spirit, so it's not outside our reach. However, to make a change, like to live into a new intention, we have to change. Something has to go. There has to be a change. There has to be a letting go of something. In our healthy one, we let go of the ideas. We let go of the attachments. And a lot of this needs some subconscious work. But we can get a sense of it here tonight. <clears throat> Excuse me. We let go by pivoting our mind. We let go by choosing a new thought. Ooh, I want that ice cream sundae. It's only 8 o'clock at night, and I'm tired. I'm exhausted. I'm going to go get ice cream. And I'm going to get, you know? And it's like, wait a minute. Just notice what you notice. Stop. It's like, what's my intention? Oh, my intention is to be healthy. You know what? What part of my body wants that ice cream? Oh, it's just my mouth. If I check in with my body, my body goes, hey, yeah, no, that would not serve you today. You could have it, but you'd pay the consequences. So no, it wouldn't serve you, right? Can you feel that? So then you make a choice. You let go of a pattern or a habit or something in the past or something that is habitual. And I just see Leila joined us. She just dropped me off at the airport. So I believe she's uh, driving. She's on uh, Facebook. So she's with us. A couple other people might be on Facebook too. We choose again. We pivot. One of the gals at the workshop said, well, and she's working on a, a big health thing. And she said, well, now I'm going to go home and resist that cookie. I'm like, wait a minute. Resist has that tension. I said, what if you were to choose again? What if you were to pivot? She goes, oh, yeah. I said, what would be different? She goes, you know what? I'm going to go home and have that pear. That's what sounds really good. Her whole body lit up. Because she has a new intention that she is now aligned with. Same with, say, prosperity. Aligning with that which you desire, bypassing all that that desire is not. Bypassing 
shifting, transcending, pivoting from the lack of what you want. Often when we say, I want abundance, everything unlike it shows up. All of our lack, like I said, the bills or, or whatever, shows up. But it's like, what does it feel like to be abundant? How can you shift from what you don't have to what you do have? Where are the ways that you are abundant? Where are the ways that you are prosperous? Move into gratitude. Stop, pivot, come back into alignment. Oh yeah, this year I am prosperous. I slipped for a minute and forgot that I'm prosperous and thought that I was in lack. But I can stop that because it's energetic alignment. I feel like I'm talking around in circles about this. But implementing the intention is about putting it forefront. And I mean, I point like this when I talk about the mind. Forefront in our awareness. What is your intention for this year? We'll talk about this in the conversation here in a few minutes. What is your intention? And if you were already living it, what does it look like? What does it feel like? What are you doing? How are you thinking? What are you saying? Implementing intention is stepping on the bridge from where you are to where you want to be. Implementing intention is stepping into fullness of it already expressed even before you see it in the manifest world. So, to implement I'm going to switch words. I'm going to quit saying implement and now I'm going to say let's integrate. So we come into energetic alignment and then we integrate. So we're going to just do a process for those of you who are live with us now. Oh, and David joined and Lynn and Joan. How great to see you guys. We're talking about implementing our intentions. We're going to do a process in just a moment, but I also want to say for those of you who are live on Facebook, that when we're done on Facebook in a couple moments, we also have a Zoom link there. You can jump over to the Zoom link and join in the conversation. So we'll have a, a community discussion there. So bring to mind your intention, if you have one. Bring to mind an intention, if you have one. And say it, some of you on Zoom are not muted, but say it to yourself, say it, say it to yourself. I am, I am prosperous, I am love, I am rest, I am health. I am adventure, I am living my intention, whatever it is for you. And then we're gonna just close our eyes and feel where you feel that in your body. When you say that I am statement, what do you notice in your body right now? Notice what you notice and say it again. I'm going to say it to yourself three times. And I'm going to just do a little energy healing just because we can. We're going to integrate all aspects of this intention into and through all aspects of your being to writing it through all states of awareness and consciousness, through all dimensions of time and space, through all bodies, mental, emotional, physical, and spiritual integrating, integrating, feeling your energy, feeling your vibration shifting, coming into alignment with this intention. I am, I am, I am. Feel it. There's an energy moving. You might even feel an energy in your body. You might feel your face. You might feel a tingle or you might feel something in your hand. You might not feel anything at all. It's fine. Just breathing into it. Breathing into it. Taking one more deep breath. Saying it to yourself again, I am, with your intention, I am. 
I am. I am. The next step of implementing your intention is to put it into action. What are you going to do today, tonight, tomorrow, this week to begin to bring into manifestation your intention now? Because it's not in the future. It's right here and it's right now. If you are on, well, either on Zoom or on Facebook Live, and you are willing to post your intention in the comments, I would be honored to hold those in the highest regard in my heart and prayers. This year, I will, I will keep them in my sacred place and hold you uh, as already manifest your intention. Then we can check back in you know, at the end of the year and see how we did on them. Go ahead, those of you on Zoom, put it in the comments, same thing. I'll, I'll keep those all in my heart and my prayers. I'm Eliza Bloom Robinson, and this is our weekly inspirational insight and community discussion. If you were just joining in, I see Andrea joined in. If you're just joining in live on Facebook, go ahead and click that Zoom link and come on over for a conversation. We'll be here about another 20 minutes or so just talking about these ideas talking about what it is if you had an insight about implementing intentions or anything else you want to talk about jump on over and join us there so glad you joined us here tonight and i'm going to shut down the facebook and uh, shift over to the zoom i'll see you again real soon